In chapter similar to angles, now one more important topic, Pythagoras theorem or both the and theorem. It is important in exam point of view for 4 marks. See the statement of Pythagoras theorem. In a right angle triangle, the square of length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of lengths of the other two sides. See, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of remaining two sides. Here I am selecting a triangle ABC at B is 90 degrees and the longest side is known as hypotenuse that is AC and the remaining two sides is AB and BC. So, we have to prove AC square equal to hypotenuse square equal to sum of the squares of remaining two sides means AB square plus BC square. So, write the given data. So, given a right angle to triangle right angle to triangle ABC right angle triangle ABC and angle B equal to 90 degrees here I am taking 90 degrees at angle B next this is given data RTP so required to prove what we have to prove the hypotenuse square equal to means here AC square equal to sum of the squares of remaining two sides means a b square plus b c square so this is we have to prove next construction so construction draw a perpendicular b d to a c draw b d is perpendicular to a c so b d perpendicular to a c now this is given data r t p and construction now see the proof now select the triangles here i am selecting the triangle a d b the left side triangle and the complete triangle whole triangle a b c so in triangle in triangle a d b and the second triangle a b c i am selecting the two triangle a d b and complete whole triangle a b c now i am going to prove these two triangles are similar see how to prove the similar See if you observe in the triangles, angle A, angle A is same, the letter A, A is same in the both the triangles. So, nothing but angle A equal to angle A is a common angle, is a common angle. Now, select one more angle. So, if from the figure we can observe angle at D is 90 degrees because BD is perpendicular to AC. So, angle at D in triangle ADB is 90 degrees. The question itself is given A, B, C in triangle A, B, C angle B also 90 degrees. So, in triangle A, D, B, so angle A, D, B angle at D and in triangle A, B, C angle at B both are same it is equal to 90 degrees. So, in triangle A, D, B and in triangle A, B, C if two angles are equal therefore, from A, A similarity from A, A similarity of triangles. A, A similarity of triangles, triangle A, D, B is similar to triangle A, B, C. If two triangles are similar, then we can compare their sides. See how to compare the sides. So, here I am explaining with a trick, a simple trick. Remember this trick. The first one is we have to arrange the terms here A, B, B, C and A, C. So, se select the sides according to our RTP and the second thing select the sides that lies on AC, select the letters that lies on AC. So, first here C, select AD, I am taking the, in first triangle I am taking the first two letters AD by in the second triangle the corresponding side means here the first two letters, in the second triangle also first two letters AB. So, here AB we required the letter AB. Next we need AB square. So, right side also arrange the term AB. So, for this I am taking in the first triangle first letter and third letter AB. First letter and third letter AB means the side AB. In the same the corresponding side in the second triangle first letter and third letter AC. So, AC because AC also we need. See once again first triangle AD second triangle its corresponding side is AB. So, AD by AB. Next right side in the first triangle the side is AB first letter last letter and its corresponding side in second triangle is AC. So, AB by 
AC. Now do cross multiplication. Do cross multiplication. AB into AB. AB square equal to AD into AC. AD into AC. Say so this is equation number 1. Now select the two triangles. Triangle BDC, the right side triangle, and complete whole triangle ABC. So in triangle, in triangle BDC and the complete triangle ABC. Now same I am going to prove these two triangles are similar. So same if you observe here the letter C C is common, same. Nothing but the angle C C is same. So angle C equal to angle C is common angle is common angle now select one more angle in the same way as the previous one angle d angle at d is 90 degrees and angle at b is also 90 degrees so in triangle bdc angle bdc angle at d in triangle abc angle at b both are equal to 90 degrees so in two triangles if two angles are equal from a a similarity from a a similarity from a a similarity triangle b d c is similar to triangle a b c triangle b d c is similar to triangle a b c so these two triangles are similar then again you can compare the sides ratios of the sides so select the sides according to our rtb these two triangles are similar now select the sides so here i am selecting the side d c because DC lies on the side AC. So DC, second letter and third letter in the first triangle and its corresponding side is BC. We require the term BC. So BC equal to right side also we need BC because BC into BC only BC square. So right side. So take first letter and last letter in the first triangle BC in the same way first letter and the last letter in the second triangle AC. See once again, it is important. So, how to write the sides? Here I am taking in the first triangle, second letter and third letter DC. Its corresponding side in the second triangle is BC. So, DC by BC equal to next. We need the BC here also. So, I am selecting first letter, third letter in the first triangle, and its corresponding side is AC. So, BC by AC. Now, do cross multiplication BC into BC, BC square equal to dc into ac dc into ac so this is equation number two we already got the equation one and this is equation two add both the equations equation one plus equation two so it is equation one and this is equation two so add equation one plus two equation one plus equation two so write the left side quantities a b square plus equation to left side quantity b c square so a b square plus b c square equal to now add the right side values the right side equation 1 ad into ac plus equation 2 dc into ac dc into ac put left side as it is now see the right side ac ac is same so take ac common write the remaining ad in the first term ad plus the second term dc AC is common, so first term remaining term is AD, in the second remaining term is DC into AC. So AD plus DC, AD plus DC, AD plus DC is the complete length AC. So AC into AC. So AC into AC is AC square, AC into AC, AC square. So AB square plus BC square equal to AC square. R right from right side ac square equal to ab square plus bc square the longest side hypotenuse square equal to sum of the squares of remaining two sides now this is the statement of the pythagoras theorem and this is complete proof of pythagoras theorem it is important in exam point of view for four marks